it's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a foundation and concealer review, first impression, test wear, all that good stuff. And that foundation is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick and the concealer. This is the long wear concealer. The foundation I got in the shade 245 and the concealer I got in the shade 130. Hopefully everything matches me because if not, was done. The foundation comes in 20 shades. I have the shade 245. It says it's a full coverage creamy foundation stick. Blends seamlessly to cover imperfections and evens skin tone. It's a weightless stick. Delivers a natural matte finish that lasts up to 12 hours. It's a transfer and water resistant formula. Contains bamboo powder to absorb oil and lily extract to lighten the look of the foundation retails for $9.99, so 10 bucks, which it's pretty affordable. And now moving on to the concealer, there is 18 shades for the concealer. I got the shade 130, which is a light medium with warm neutral undertones. It retails for $8.99, and it says it's a creamy, full coverage, water resistant makeup that instantly conceals and lasts up to 12 hours. As you can see, my skin is not flawless. At this point, at this moment in time, it's definitely looked better before. I have tons of redness. I have tons of breakouts, and I'll do a close up for you guys. And this little baby right over here, <laughs> I actually tried to shave my face and I cut myself. So, hi, it's just gonna be there for a little bit, and it hurts like a mofo. So, I'm gonna ignore it. Alrighty, so talking about packaging, I really do like the packaging of the foundation. I think it's great. I love stick foundations. I think they're very creamy, they're very beautiful. And if you mix them in with like a liquid foundation, they are even more gorgeous. <laughs> but today we're just gonna try um, the actual stick foundation, duh, that's what the video is about. So this is what the foundation looks like. That is how much product we get. It says that it has 0.46 ounces or 13 grams of product. The packaging is very beautiful, but it does feel like a little flimsy. I'm scared that if, I'm kind of rough, so I'm scared that if I like turn this too fast, like it's gonna come undone, but it's still such a beautiful packaging, like black and gold. Hello, my whole life is black and gold. So yeah, I really do like the packaging on the foundation. So I think we're just gonna go straight for it and just apply it all over the skin. So um, I'm gonna start with a little bit and then we'll see if we need to build up. Let me get my mirror. It doesn't really have a scent to it, which I like. It's not as creamy as I thought it was going to be. It's not as oily as I thought it was going to be. Usually when I think of a stick foundation, I think of almost like a crayon, something very oily. I think I'm gonna do this side with the brush. I did not prime my skin because I haven't been priming the skin lately. What I did do was used a really good moisturizer. I used my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Okay, so that is one side with the brush. Now I'm gonna go in with the beauty sponge. It's actually kind of hard to blend. Like it's not an easy foundation to blend. I feel like I'm like hitting my skin trying to blend it because it's not as creamy, it's definitely a little bit drier. All right, so I have a layer on of the foundation. It feels a little sticky, but normal. It's nothing like super sticky or anything. It was a little bit harder to blend out than other stick foundations I have tried, just because the formula is definitely a little bit drier. Um, it did do a pretty good job at covering my skin, but it's not a full coverage. You can definitely still see my redness right here. Can you see that? You can see the redness and the dry areas of my face, like the dry patches of my face. It is emphasizing them just a little bit, but I mean, you can always work around that because you can mix in an oil with the foundation. So I'm not too concerned about that. I do want to add more coverage. So I'm going to go in with a second layer 
Now that I have a second layer of the foundation, everything is definitely a lot more covered than it was with one layer. So if you have problematic skin or if you have a lot to cover, definitely go in with a second layer to get that really nice, flawless, full coverage. I'm not really stressing too much about this guy over here because it is a cut and it's a fresh cut. So I'm hoping to conceal it with the concealer next. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the concealer. I picked mine up in the shade 130 again. It does have a nice little like paddle brush. So I am going to apply this right here on the sides of my nose. And kind of bring it in. Okay, so I pretty much applied concealer in all the areas where I would normally conceal. And now I'm going to go in with my sponge and blend it out. So that is the concealer blended into the skin. This is what it looks like. And I don't really know how I feel about it, to be quite honest. I don't know if I like it or hate it yet. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it, mm, hmm. see, look at that. Look at my under eyes. Do we see that? Do we see? Look how I'm doing. And you can see every little line, every little crevice that I have. So, I don't know. Okay, so here are my under eyes. As you can see, right here, you can see every little line, every little crease that I have under my eyes. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back so you can see the final look. Okay, so I am back. I did like a super easy glam. This is kind of like the glam that I do whenever I'm trying on a foundation or concealer because it's just very basic. There's nothing much to it. And the main focus of everything is the concealer and the foundation. So at this point, I have had the foundation on for about like 30 minutes or so. And to be quite honest, it looks really nice. The foundation does look really nice. It's really pretty. It's like a very matte finish. I think if you have oily skin, you probably will really like this foundation. My skin feels really, really tight and dry. I don't know if it's the powder or what it is, but I definitely feel my skin like like tight like it weighs a little bit i have a couple things to do today it is currently one in the afternoon so i am going to wear this throughout my day and hopefully hopefully i end up liking it so i'm going to be doing some check-ins throughout my day i'll probably check in again like around four with my vlog camera and um yeah so <sighs> Hopefully it, it turns out okay. I do like the foundation. I do really like it, but the concealer <sighs> Hey guys, okay, so I am back for a check-in. It is currently 2 59 so 3 o'clock and hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me zoom you guys in so that you can see what's going on with my under eyes. Okay, so I'm zooming you guys in so you can see my under eyes. Look how dry and creasy the eyes are. It's only, I've only had the foundation on for about an hour, hour and a half, and it looks like that. So I am actually going to have lunch now. Um, I have to do some school stuff and I have to finish laundry. I have to go get some groceries. So I'm going to continue to wear this foundation and, um, we shall see what happens. Okay, you guys, so it is seven o'clock at nighttime and I am looking at myself. I have a big mirror like in front of me. Let me show you guys. So I have a mirror right here where I am looking at myself and my skin just looks really, really dry. So, so far, I'm not really liking it. I think that if you have oily skin, I think you would definitely love this foundation. But since my skin is more dehydrated and it's a little bit more drier these days, oh my god, I look so bad. Um, yeah, it's just not it's just not looking good. So it is currently seven. I'm probably gonna wear it for a little bit longer and then I'll check back at the end of the night. Okay, so I am back and don't mind my Clorox stained shirt. I am like literally ready to go to bed. I'm ready to wipe this makeup off. I've actually no shade, but I have actually been ready to wipe off this makeup for a very long time now because it just feels 
so incredibly heavy on my skin. It is currently 10.03 p.m. So I started at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I've been wearing the foundation for about 9 hours, which I think it's a good wear test. It does look a little cakey right in here. I don't know if you can see it. You, you can see it. It's, it's pretty bad. But right here... Um, it does look a little dry. It does emphasize my pores, which is funny because I thought the foundation said that it was like a pore filler type thing, or maybe it was a concealer. I don't remember now. But this area right here does look very, you can kind of see my pores and the texture. Like it's not a good situation. And then under my eyes, I don't know if you can see that, but it's creasing really bad and every little crease that I have is emphasized. I have dehydrated skin and I'm currently having some texture and pore issues and a lot of breakouts. So if you have oily skin, I think you're really gonna like this foundation because it's definitely a mattifying foundation. But for me, this just does not work. It's too heavy, it's too cakey on me and uh, I really wanted to like it because it's really affordable, but it's just not working out for me I am gonna try the foundation mixing it in with an oil See if I could make it work for my skin type and then I'll get back to you guys on that See you can see all of that texture And those pores and look up here on my forehead That looks pretty cakey to me so I think that is pretty much it. If I think of any other key points or anything like that that I missed while filming this video, I will leave it in the description. So make sure you check the description in case I added any little notes or anything like that. But yeah, guys, it's not it's not my favorite. Um, I definitely do think that the drugstore has better foundations than this one. For me, it didn't work out, but maybe for you, it's like the best foundation ever. So yeah that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments what other foundations you guys want me to try review do a first impressions on and i would love to do that so that's it i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very very soon with a brand new video Mwah!